Hi, I'm Col Usher from Shaping Outcomes. I'm the CEO, have been for the last four and a half years. Shaping Outcomes is an early childhood intervention service that services children with developmental delays and disabilities from the ages of zero to nine. And wherever the child lives, learns and plays is where we offer our support to make sure that that child has the best possible platform for inclusion and success and to live their best life possible. Uh, Shaping Outcomes has been part of the Tweed and Northern Rivers of New South Wales landscape for the last 43 years, servicing families and children into the thousands to make sure that those children have the best possible platform for inclusion and success and building the best life possible. So over the last four decades, Shaping Outcomes has forged a strong relationship, a strong working relationship with the Tweed Hospital. Uh, we've run paediatric case conferencing through the the hospital, we've been able to support community health. Uh, recently, in the last 12 months, they've had over four or five families that community health have walked down the hill to our door because they were unable to provide services and we picked up the, those services to be able to offer to those refugee children and those children in our communities that don't have funding to support what they need. The decision that's been made recently is that uh, after 40 years of promises and assurances and guarantees that Shaping Outcomes will always have a space uh, in the Tweed Health landscape, uh, they've chosen to evict us from our, our current facilities that the community has built, that our parents have built, that um, cl the cl local clubs and services in our area have all raised funds to build. The location that we're on, uh, we, don't, we, we thought we owned. For the last 40 years we haven't paid any rent in this facility because we built it and the community built it. We received a letter two weeks ago that advised us that they are evicting us from our own facility and that they're not going to compensate us at all. It's a huge decision. We still want to work closely with the hospital. We understand that the hospital needs to move and things need to change. We understand that, but they've left us in a rather sticky predicament at the moment. We have to find a new facility to work from. We have to write off uh, the asset base from our organisation that we thought we had and we thought we had secured through their assurances. Uh, we will still maintain a strong working relationship with the hospital because it's not about a building, it's about the kids. It's about our families and it's about our community receiving the best support they can possibly receive to ensure that children with disability and developmental delays are engaged in our community and building a stronger community together.